You've seen the riots in Ferguson and in Baltimore. The assassinations in New York City and Dallas. Officers scramble to secure the scene. Shot fired. Witnessed media elites painting law enforcement officers as hyper-aggressive, out-of-control racists while portraying the Michael Browns as innocent victims. Well, listen, I, I think it's important to acknowledge that some things are possible and some things are provable. It is certainly not provable that uh, Mike Brown had his, his hands up. What's really happening? Police officers unfortunately lose their lives uh, in the course of uh, their duty. Veteran police officer Jeff Rorta boldly exposes the frontline truths. That's not why Michael Brown ended up on that street uh, confronting a police officer. It's, uh, it's decades of racial disparity and, and economic disparity. Uh, it's not a problem with the police. Law enforcement across the country is grappling with how to handle Black Lives Matter, who have fomented violence, who have engaged in, in a level of hate speech. If, if, if you or I, Steve, engage in, in the level of hate speech that, that these guys are constantly engaged in, uh, they, they'd want to deport us from the country. Black Lives Matter thugs waging a war against cops, against the law, against order, against our country. Enough is enough. Attitudes must begin to shift. Social media must get lit up to the truth. The unconscionable, despicable, deadly war on police must stop now. Get Officer Rorta's expose about Ferguson, the Black Lives Matter agenda, and how we must stop the war on police.